Vibes on Vegas All Net Radio, the final frontier of free speech. This program is intended for mature audiences only and contains strong or potentially offensive language of an adult and sexual nature. So, listener discretion advised. The views and opinions expressed on the curvaceous band of Sin City do not reflect those of Vegas All Night Radio or its affiliates. All music, stories, and characters are the sole property of their creators and are protected under international copyright laws. Sierra, Alexia, Mama, and Sweet Cheeks are personalities put on for your entertainment. The stories are real. The language is explicit. The behavior is unbelievable. If you can't take the heat, get the fuck out of the kitchen. Watch out for Straight out of Las Vegas, Nevada, it is the curvaceous bounty of Sin City, starring Sierra, Sweet Cheeks, Alexia, and Mama. Good evening, Las Vegas. And people around the world. <laughs> Why do we giggle every time we do that? I don't know. <laughs> she sounds to like, see whether we did it right or not. She sounds like her daughter. She, she does. does. She does. <laughs> and and that's the quietest she's going to be for the rest of the show. Oh, Mama was lit up last night. Woo! Woo! And it is all my fault. <laughs> my favorite part was when DJ sang to you. Oh, uh, wasn't that awesome? That was, yeah, you had a whole... Look, okay, I need some... I need some help because I told him when he got up there to start singing that he had a whole little, like, fan club over on the side. <laughs> that as soon as he got up there, like, ah! And he was like, no, I did. I was like, yes, they did. They were like, ah! Was like, so <laughs> then he's like, now he's like, well, they weren't they? Yes, they were. Okay, thank what you. What an awesome success that party was. Yes, I'm so happy. I'm I happy. am so excited. The the owner came up and said, like, let's book the next two dates. So, like, Woo! we have it. It was it was, it was was fun, you guys. And we, we got everybody out for karaoke and... It was a good time. And it was good to see so, uh, so many of the communities there. There were a and, couple and missing, yet. but I know one was in, uh, Plush was out in Disneyland. Right. And uh, it was last minute for them. Well, it so. was. And you know what? I noticed a lot of faces in the crowd and talked to some people who had never been to a BBW event. Right. So there I was... think there's a lot of people that don't want to do the nightclub thing. Right. Because of the kind of music and the, dan you know, whatever. But they'll come to a karaoke night. We did get one bad review. We did. Oh. Yes. Well, fuck them. <laughs> we did? It was on it was on the event wall and it was uh, their complaint was everybody sang slow songs and it almost put her and her husband to sleep. So why didn't they get was. Oh. But you know what? Well, we got to remember it, and we did a hell of a fucking job. We did. Well, and you know what? <laughs> there's another you know, there's a couple things we need to talk to DJ about. Like, you know what? There are two screens on the outside there. They I didn't like them, they couldn't get them to work. Is that what the problem they, they was? They spent the whole first hour there fiddling with it and for whatever reason the wires were crossed, something was happening. Well, hopefully by next time we can get those down. And you know what? We can always talk to the DJ about maybe kind of mixing the slow with the fast because we did go through a rile there because I walked up and at one point I go you know what we want to wobble and Cupid shuffle and don't do them back to back because fat girls can't handle it I only saw the one the wobble <laughs> yeah, was the only one that he played they, they did the Cupid shuffle it later okay. yeah, after yeah. you left okay. yeah, yeah like, they did you left and then they did the Cupid shuffle where was I I, I missed a lot you of were shit. shit you, you were shit face. face and you and Shannon were like Siamese twins like attached at the hip because they were I, both shit face show, and I see I seen mama one night and she's like like, oh my god, I almost lost Shannon. I like, oh, well, <laughs> like, walked to 7 Eleven. Yeah, that's how fucking that. they were hip attached so fucking bad that night that they walked all the fuck the way down to 7 Eleven. That's not a close walk. Not for a fat girl. <laughs> I didn't think it was too far. <laughs> drunk fat girl at that. Yeah, you were drunk. That's why you didn't think it was that far. If you yeah, had to walk, that's why my legs are hurting today, probably. probably. Well, and for the person who posted that, wait, wait, that wait, why would you go to 7 Eleven in the neighborhood? You know that neighborhood? That's a Naked City neighborhood, right? Uh, uh, yes, I know. <laughs> Wait, what does Naked City mean? Back uh, there behind the stratosphere. Behind the stratosphere, yeah. Oh, that's Naked City. That's Is that kind of like behind Main Street books? It, it had no, worse. It had the reputation of being the most crime-ridden area yes. of the city. Yes. Oh. And, and you can, and and you can the, fucking no, sell it. And you can they, find they, anything that you want. A lot, yeah. a lot of drugs. Yeah, they've, you know, <laughs> they've gentrified it. They ge they've gentrif gentrified it quite a bit. So now you got to say please before you ask for your crack. <laughs> <laughs> 
And it comes in a sandbox. That's box. funny. <laughs> well, so for those that post it too many slow, we will make the request to the DJ that we mix up those slow ones. Well, here's that. No, no, no. Here's I, the thing. I, I, if you want Night Moves by Bob Seger, which is a rock and roll song. It is. A little slow. I did uh, Take a Chance on Me by yeah, Abba. That's by a Abba. Song. And we did We Are Family, which used to be, should be our signature well, song. Well, the, the, other, the other part of that comment was Save the Screaming for something else. Or so, I guess there was a lot of screaming going on. But there was a lot of screaming. When, when somebody we knew would go up there, we'd be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, which is how guy. it should be. Yeah. Right. I love the Asian guy who sounded like Johnny Cash. You know what? He was, was pretty good. You know what the DJ said to me at one point when I went to the DJ to get the microphone? He's like, there's a lot of good singers tonight. Yeah, I'm like, he goes, are. I'm enjoying this. There was a lot of good yeah, singers. Yeah. yeah. What, 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 uh, there was a couple of really good, there was a black girl and a blonde white girl. Yes, I remember and that. they would sing a lot of songs together, but they never came and sat inside with us. They were always out in the bar. I think they're smokers. Yeah, well, uh, there were a lot of people who were smoking. You know who else was really forth. good? The little girl who sang both the Reba McIntyre songs. Yes. Yeah. She was great, Sherry, too. I think her name was. Sherry, or... yes. Yeah. Who, I learned outside overhearing the conversation, is a Ren Fair junkie. Um, well, you can tell by who was dressed. <laughs> well, that whole group right there kind of runs in a particular scene that I know. Ooh. Oh, I'm not going to call them out on the radio. No, out yeah, on radio. I, I think that's yeah. But we can just say that they are <laughs> very. Do we? Do we need to get them on the show? Absolutely. <laughs> I wouldn't. Well, I got personal bias against it, but um. I'm well, you can take that night off. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, they. Yeah, I want to know the nitty gritty. We'll, we'll just say that they're a very disciplined group of people. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> they do what they're told. Whoop. That's funny. I taught the geek lounge a new word. Did you? Flagellation. Do you know what that means? I know farting. It's a oh, fart, isn't no, it? No, that's, that's flagellation. <laughs> well, you guys know I'm the Archie Bunker of Woods in here, so <laughs> anyway, they thought it was farting and peeing and vomiting what at the is same it? time. Teach me. Wow. Flagellation. It's what priests do to when themselves you... when they're oh, atoning when for they sins flog, or whatever. Flog themselves. Flog. Yes. It's, <laughs> it is flogging. <laughs> yes. All right, it's a, I'm, it's a I'm fancy growing up. For, it's a fancy term for ass whooping. Flagellation. Ass whooping. Mm. Mm. But you know what? Just take a minute, you guys. She everybody, said, wait, wait, wait. She, wait, wait. She said, mm hmm. Yeah, she, <laughs> she likes that, right? Yeah. Yeah, right? Okay. She likes when her ass yeah. is beat red. Yeah. But no, well, you know, thank you, anybody listening that was there last night that supported it. Um, we're going to do it again on May the 4th. So we're looking for another big turnout. And, and I will. we will be giving the fuck often jar out again. Yes. And I will be personally calling everyone. In every Vegas. group leader, every, every group, group leader in Vegas. I will personally be calling you. If I do not have your phone number, I'm on Facebook. And please send me your number so we can talk. Yes. Please. <laughs> because so we need to talk. I have business to take care of. I'm very excited that, that, that that's going to be part of our, our monthly um, routine now in, the, in our yes, community. Yes, it was awesome. It was great. It was, it was a good, it was a really good, wholesome time. Mama and her drug self was so cute last night. She's like, we did this. This was us. <laughs> All us. <laughs> and Mama so cute okay. out tickets well, too. That's what I was gonna say. Sierra told her, "Well, if they get up and sing, give them an extra raffle ticket." So every, somebody would get called up to sing their karaoke song. Well, before the music would be starting, but Mama would straight up go across the floor and give them a ticket, and they're waiting to go on. And Mama's making sure they got their ticket. I sure did. You were on it. Sure no, it did. didn't matter how far she had to stumble to get up there, but she got up there. It was a long way after a while. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. hey, somebody threw a footstool at her at some point. So sit your drunk ass down. Well, Mama did. Need to stay away from the blue drink. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. The adios, the motherfuckers. adios, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that thing. And I, I yeah. paid for both of those for her. By the way. Oh, by the way, thanks for the glass of wine last thank night. You're, you're very welcome. welcome. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. You're welcome. I don't remember half this stuff, but thank you so much. You're very welcome. <laughs> like, you did. I did. I did what? Yeah, yeah, but you and you. I, I now I, I woke up this morning, and the first thing I did, of course, uh, as usual, is open my social media pages, and on um, Alexia's wall, I see Big E of Curve Media posted that he sang last night. After the whole place emptied, we were all gone. Oh, like, where was I? Oh. Where was I? <laughs> I think he waited for the place to be empty to sing. What Bastard. a pansy ass. I know. Bastard. Even Cali guy got up and sang. Oh, I know. I saw the picture. I don't remember. You know what? You were not feeling any pain yourself last night. <laughs> No, I was not feeling any pain whatsoever. And I do want night. to mark the calendar that Sweet Cheeks was sober. Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. always give me a hard right. time when I'm drinking. Well, the I PLP was, was tore the motherfucker up, too. 
<laughs> Wait she a minute, and I were sitting on, funny. She I and I were her. sitting on the bench right there together. She's leaning on me, going, "I like your boobs." <laughs> <laughs> well, and then at one point, she she called Alexia over. Yes. Come here, come here. Let anybody know that if. They'll meet me in the parking lot between 1 and 1.30. I'll hook them up. <laughs> yes. Her PLP services were open. For those of you who uh, uh, are just starting to watch the show, the PLP stands for Parking Lot Pimp. Because for some reason, <laughs> the PLP is really good at hooking you up in She's the parking lot. She's hooked me up in the parking lot before. <laughs> well, even without your consent. I know. Well, it was <laughs> her day. It was her day she hooked me up with. Now, the best part is when she pimped her own self out to three dudes from another country and had her very first multi-part experience that and they weren't even best. they weren't even in and chubby they, chicks that's right no they, they weren't, weren't even, even into, into chubby chicks <laughs> so hey, but the, the plp was lit when i picked her up yeah. okay like she was already had orange soda and a roadie cup with the with the vodka in it ready to go <laughs> i i just got a i got a uh just got a text from your little friend so we are definitely drinking buddies from your little your little half daughter we, we need to give her um, a, a show name we, yes. we should. She does need a show name. We we'll call her sexual chocolate. Cause she, cause she is. <laughs> no, somebody else Damn is sexual oh, chocolate. Cause she made the. She she did all the cuts on our shirts, and she oh. she was at another. She did her shirt. She had a thick nation shirt on last night. Yeah. Sexual chocolate is Chunky Finds husband. husband. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah. so we have to. We have to but um, name. but she was at another party, and she's like, I got to get over to the red label. I I can't miss a red label party. Like, <laughs> and so we'll call her Coco. 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 Little Miss Coco. No, you know, like the little miss. She could be those? Coco. She could be Coco. Coco. <laughs> wait till I Swiss tell her. Miss. Why don't we just call her Swiss Miss? There you go. That's it. That's <laughs> wait, wait. It. When I think of Swiss Miss, I think of the girl in the blonde hair, blue eyes. She is hot definitely chocolate. Coco because I think of hot chocolate. When yeah. you think of Swiss Miss, I think of the little. Uh, we could just call her hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. She thinks she had chocolate up in there. Call her chocolate, Look, chocolate she, milk. She had chocolate up she in there. She is adorable. We'll call her chocolate milk because she hasn't graduated. You know what? I have age. known her since she was like in the fifth grade. <laughs> and, you know, I've watched her. I mean, I can remember her being in junior high and me getting ready to go to the Red Rooster. Hey, yeah. moms, can I do your hair? Yeah, she can do oh. my hair. Yeah. Oh, she did my hair. She Just, did. She, she did. gave me my, yeah, I needed a touch up. So she touched me up. Nice. Yeah, so, yeah that's good. We'll make her part of the crew. We should bring her in. She wants her and she said to me, I want a Sin City Bounty shirt. I said, we're getting ready to order some. Uh, I want a Sin City Bounty We've shirt. We've had more than one request. My daughter so. my daughter says, um, I want a sweat sh- a t-shirt that's too big so I can cut it up. And then I also want to take top of my size. Yeah. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. We're getting requests. So, so okay. So, I, I need to talk about something because I had an adventure this week. Because, <laughs> um, because of us doing the Fuck Often Jar. Um, I decided to go on an adventure and get condoms. And I want to say because I went to one of the places and they were out of condoms. So congratulations to all you fuckers out there that are. Well, I think you ought to say they were out. Yes. That's well, right. I, they were uh, no. It's not good. Were they but, out because too many people were coming to get them? That's or what we're hoping. Yeah. I, right. That's, that's what I'm hoping. Uh, but I'm, I'm thinking put it like on the good side. I'm gonna put it on the good side. No, they, they were out because they weren't like, out because they don't give them out. They were out because people were coming taking well, them. Well, that's so what I hope. See, in my mind, I'm like, oh my god, if I went there and, and asked for condoms, they didn't have them. Like, what? You didn't place your order? You know, yeah. that's where I well, thought I'm they were it. Or you can I'm go gonna... to 7-Eleven and for two thirty seven you can pick up a three-pack of clothes. The, 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 <laughs> nine, well, the 99 cent store's got condoms now. Make sure you get that. Yeah, but they're not vibrating Trojans, you know, with neon glow in the dark. Heat, heat, okay. heat them up. But the ones the Vonda got them. were several not, different flavors. Okay, okay but, wait, but wait a minute. So my thing is, is when I went to go get them, there's not a lot of people that maybe either A, have money that they, they're going to go get That's them. That's right. Or are embarrassed to go get them. So I was on an adventure this week to get condoms to see how easy or hard it was to get the condoms. So three places later, I had a wonderful lady at the Southern Nevada Health Department, and she gave me tons of condoms. She gave me pamphlets. Um, I and lube. Uh, and lube, and I found out right. that this is actually STD Awareness Month, and that they will actually be doing free testing on the 19th and the 26th for yeah. their for their whole um, for the whole day from. I Those think are Fridays. I think mm-hmm. it's they're both Fridays, and it is 
8 to 3.30, I believe. Let me verify that. Yeah, 8 to 3.30. So it's, and then there's, um, you can go on their website as well, and they'll they'll tell you some other places. Do you know if it's free. a, if it's, is it a blood test they do? Um, it's, a, it's a combination test. It's, yeah. Oh, okay. You, you pee, I'm just curious uh, how they I, do it. I believe she was telling me it was you do it, and then you pee in the cup, and you, whatever oh, it is so that you know how to do. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's a whole little, it's a, it's a, um, I believe she called it a fast track. So as long as you don't have any symptoms or anything that you're concerned about, and you're just basically getting tested that they do the little uh, formality and they send you on your way. Here, here's here's yeah. a couple of statistics that you I should know. I actually had that test before. Did you? Yeah, I, it was horrible. <laughs> uh, Las, Las Vegas is in the top 10 of contracting STDs in the United States. Top 10 cities. Really? For Anyone contracting surprised? STDs Not in really. the United States. Okay. Um, we're also the fourth highest city for teen pregnancy. Again. With over 7,000 teen pregnancies in 2012 my daughter was one of those statistics yes, yes. but okay um, and, I, and i need to tell you something else and i know that you're trying to tell them okay, statistics go ahead, go ahead. but when i went um the old one that everybody knows about this on shadow lane the old right. um health department is no longer okay so if you need shots and stuff for your kids that one is on the old sprint building that's on um valley view right there valley view in alta and um the is that where the free testing will be no no, okay. that's for if you need the shots and stuff for your kids. Um, the um, the STD part is 400 Shadow Lane, which is on the corner of Alta and um, in Shadow Lane right there. Right. It's across the street, not down where the other buildings are. Right. Um, it's uh, Suite 106. Okay. So I, I, I need to tell you guys this because I was on an adventure <laughs> and it... it <laughs> I, 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 she I feel traveled, like everybody, she I, traveled the valley for you people. I, I and did, I, I'm I glad did. you did because I remember the Shadow Lane building. And I did it several times. That's yeah. where I went first. Well, I My went health to, card. And there's like and... weeds growing like a mile high now in front of the yeah. building. So yeah. they've, they've moved it all. So now you guys know 400 Shadow Lane Suite 106. 19th and the 26th is when they're doing the free testing. So all you porn stars that have to do your like regularly testing, you can get it for free that day or just every, every, every day average everyday joes that just want to get tested go um i think we're actually thinking about doing a a group i'd thing. like so to i'd like for all to of us to it. go we can yeah. do it we bring girl and film it and mm -hmm. you can um, do it and you know what i want to say because of mom's adventures that for the next year we will have enough stuff for our fuck it off in jobs okay <laughs> she even got female condoms yes i, I know did. that's great um although um dj when and everybody that has looked at the back of it says they have a problem with number five because um it kind of reminds them of the olden days when they were loading the cannons and it has like a little plunger thing that looks <laughs> like put the female condom there. there so i'm not really not sure what, what? that is and i haven't wait i think mama i think ladies, you should test it and let us know how that works i will I the will. rest I'll of us you know. ladies are fully or us ladies are okay with plungers going up there we use tampons yes it, it can't be that much different than inserting a tampon really I just, it just looks kind of weird on the on the number five I'm like, well you see i've looked at it a few times and showed people five. yeah step number five well it was of... funny because um mama called me and she's like i got all the stuff and sierra had made the jar and i had like the extras the candy and the ribbon so i'm like and i was looking for an excuse to get out of my house because my fucking house was driving me nuts <laughs> so mama calls me and she's at the shop i'm like i'll be there I, so i bring all my stuff to the shop not thinking about it i'm sitting at the desk of across from mama and i'm opening it up and and it says fuck often and everybody in the shop now realizes that we have condoms mm -hmm. so all of a sudden there's one girl going hey i want a grape one hey you got any more chocolate no i don't like banana oh, no. yeah, we were, <laughs> yeah we were passing them around and then there were these little colored ones and they're like oh no that won't fit me well, one of the reasons well, the little colored ones the tiny ones those are for your fingers they weren't that tiny. No. They weren't that tiny. No, they were no. Canadian condoms. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, some people need those. I've seen some of the pictures you ladies sent me. Oh, <laughs> haven't you been getting a lot of dick pictures? <laughs> There's two that didn't come through from you, by the way, so we'll have to talk I'll about reset. that. I keep, I keep wanting to post on my Facebook wall, hello. Send if me you send pics. me a dick picture, I will post it. And I was going but back. But they don't care because it doesn't have a name. I don't you know, think. if you post that, you probably get more pictures. You're right. We would. Yeah. Hey. That's what I'm scared of. <laughs> Logging in right now. Which I just, made your which is good on our blog. Because we can put it on our blog. Right. Somebody <laughs> made a comment to me this week about our website. Mm -hmm. And they said to me, um, you know, if men would put a page up like you girls have up, all hell would break loose. Talking about dick the dick list. 
Okay. And I said, what are you talking about? You can, we'll, we'll do a pussy page. Just submit we stories. Have like three or four. Okay. And, and I said, so I asked DJ, I'm like, listen to what so-and-so said to me. It was a male that said it originally. And he's like, he's right. I go, what are you fucking talking about? Like, <laughs> is that the truth? No. I said, well, you guys are bitching about the dick page. Why do we put up the pecker page? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we, we want to get the story. So if you're a dude and you have a bad date with a girl and you can give her a clever name. We're going to call it the pussy page. We'll call it the... We'll get the vagina okay. list. The, no, no, no. We'll, we'll call it the vagina dialogues. Oh, oh there we it. go. Yeah. And we'll make a list. And we have a couple. We have the hair swinger that knocked herself out. Will, I think, <laughs> gave us that story. <laughs> right? Knocked herself out on the fucking... Uh, <laughs> the roof of the car. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, my God. Dead fucking cold. And there's the one girl that had the castle fetish, though, and he had sex with her in a haunted castle. Right. A castle one? fetish? Wow. Yeah. And then and we've had a few stories. Well, we that's just what I said to him. I go, I go, why we, we have I friend, anybody? Friend, we have a we we have a friend who has a girlfriend who's a super bitch. So she could go on there. I'm <laughs> done with that. Putting on super bitch. There's the skunt who will be number one on the list forever. <laughs> forever. The, the skunt, skunt who's goes on the, the list. That twat slaps. Yes, the twat, the twat slapping, slapping skunt. skunt. Whoa. Wow. Twat slapping is like Whoa. cock blocking, but it's women doing it to women. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> let, 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 can I take a breath here and back up? Okay. Oh, hard now, is it. it women blocking other women from getting cock? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, because I didn't know if it was Or women. other women. Hey, okay. I think we... Oh, never mind. Yeah, it's just... If, it's there, just... if there's a vagina involved, yeah. it's twat slapping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Although I'm a big fan of twat slapping. I don't know if you've ever had your twat slap. That's a lot of fun. That's no. a little different. That's a no. different kind of twat slapping. No, that's not cool. Because no. that's my payback for socking him in the nuts. No, no, no. That's he that's not cool for you because you got a fucking Canadian sausage going on down there. You got a penis for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, that'd be like getting need or something. Right. Not in the old cockhead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what? I, I think your friend is right. If a guy were to put up a page, if guys were to put up a page like that, I think a lot of women would be very offended. I, 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 because of society the way it is today. Because we, there's we so huge, huge double standard. Right. right. But if we put up the page. Women are allowed funny. to be assholes and men are not. It's yeah. just like that old Fiat oh, yeah. commercial. It was almost like he was crying, like, that's just not fair. So, uh, like, you know what? So tell your stories. Friend, I did. Tell your friend to say, give us I the said, story. We we all, all post it. I said, we yeah. always, it's that always an alias gonna, name. The story he's going to submit will be this one bitch named Sweet Cheeks. Well, we got the one. <laughs> was it even DJ gave us a story about the lady who showed up on his doorstep or something like that, right? Oh yeah, the one that oh the yeah one that was before me that he like met on the in the chat room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what happened? Call him dad. Go ahead. <clears throat> Wendy of Neverland better. pulls up a chair to pay closer attention to the JJ conversation. The JJ. I think we have to talk about twat slapping some more, just for Wendy. Uh -oh. Just the for vagina Wendy. dialogue. This is great. That's what it's going to be called. We have the dick list and the vagina dialogue. So Wendy, go ahead and submit your stories. Yeah. Yes. For the vagina dialogue. You are a lesbian. I am quite certain that you have some seriously fucked up ass lesbian stories because I got some seriously fucked up ass lesbian. That's stories. That's right. You can. You can. I had a girlfriend list. draw a fucking gun on me for God's sake. <laughs> she drew a gun. On she you? drew a gun on me. Well, for my brain went first. She drew a yeah, gun. Yeah. No. No no no, no. 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 She pulled out a forty-five. <laughs> And pointed it at that's me. It's a little different. Yeah, that's Whoa. a whole. That's, that's, is, that the, is that the CIA Ranger? Yeah, the <laughs> one that's way <laughs> fucked up in the head. <laughs> And who, who be claimed that she was a member of the CIA and she used to be a ranger and I think she was like 22? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, my, my sister is um, lesbian and um, some of the relationships and shit that she's been in, it's like... So she could post some stories. Right, yeah. in, right in, in lipstick all over the truck and, you know, shit like that. Like, wow, really? Yeah. Well, you know, some women go psycho when they break up with men. Can you imagine oh, two women that yeah. are psycho? <laughs> with each other yeah yeah, yeah it's called a, probably a homicide <laughs> oh you guys oh Callie guys sent, gave us the story that the the you should have followed me girl uh -huh. when they had the yeah that'll go in the vagina dialogue. well i guess we need to start the vagina dialogues and the will. pecker page and the dick list yeah. we got it all we got it all hopefully i'll be able to do all of that this week so oh Okay. Yeah. But um, last night, my friend was there from Michigan that I'd known for years, and he happened to be in town, and he came. He was the biggest $3 bill I've ever met. He yes, came? he is. Scott? 
He no, came. he didn't came. No, oh. but anyway, he was adorable. He's cute as hell. Does he look like Adam uh, Adam Levine from uh, on The Voice from Maroon Five? I, I don't watch from that. the Burgundy enough. Group. Yeah. It's from the Burgundy. The group. Burgundy Group. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, Burgundy Seven. But listen, you guys, he was on his phone and he was on a um, gay dating site. Uh, that had GPS on it. It's an app called Grinder. Yes. Nice. Nice. And listen, <laughs> on the app, he's like, oh, this guy is 825 feet away. <gasps> he was walking through a casino, the Luxor. He's like, this guy's 50 feet away. You sign up for the account. It's, and like, it, it it's, like, it's like a stalking tool. No, Hell well, no. no you, you sign up for an account if you want to know where the other gays are and you want other gays to know where you are. You sign up, you put in your information, and then it tracks your phone. And then it tells you when you are within like a thousand feet of another game. Well, do you know what I said? If we could find that app for fat chicks, it would make me upgrade my phone. <laughs> we would call for it BBWs. Fat Finder. We yeah. call it Fat Finder. Yeah, I would definitely upgrade the phone just so I can see how close the chubby chasers are to me. <laughs> <laughs> and they could do it secretly, anonymously. Oh, no? I walk right up to them. Excuse me, my phone says that you like my ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, like this. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. <laughs> That's exactly like, like those. Like, no lie, when he was sitting there, I'm like, detectors. oh my god, do they have one of those GPSs for fat chicks? And he's like, BBW. He's trying to find. <laughs> he was trying to find he you. Was try he signed up for some BBW site he didn't even know just to see if it would do it. But <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. That's right. great. So there, we're putting out a general call out to all uh, application designers. We want some help. We're going to put that out. Yep. We should. GPS. Hey, if we can ever afford to build our own app, we can make that part of our app. The fat finder portion. The fat finder portion. <laughs> I would definitely be all. It would make me go out and buy a new phone tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> We'd get her to upgrade to a phone without buttons. <laughs> you know, I got one at the house. What? My my old one. My I don't three uh, GS. <sighs> all you gotta do is go take it in. You know you what? Know you should just smart. let her have it for a little while just to play with the yeah. non phone functions. You know, just because I know my fat apps. figures, I can't even type on one. Put, phone. put the Candy Crush game on there and whatever other games. Oh my god, play. I hate that fucking. My candy son game. is hooked on that fucking game, and he pisses me off the because air he can and do I levels. Are at it. He can do levels I can't do. <laughs> he's like, Mom, let me see that real quick. So he's doing it. He's like, here you go, Mommy. It's just make sure right he sends me lives when I send you lives to your name. <laughs> I, 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 I couldn't believe it. I, like, I had tried to play that level so many times. And, yeah, he just got it and handed it right back to me. Yep. Oh, i got to fix the microphone over there. Okay. Did that happen? I don't know. Your, Vi your Viagra ran out. <laughs> oh! <laughs> You hate when that happens, D. Uh, I wish I could use Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> you still can. Supposedly, for females, it makes your uh, your clitoris enlarge. More. I found a oh. list of uh, ten things that I you didn't that. know were aphrodisiacs. <laughs> really? Uh oh. No. Oh, let's see. Wait, ten give, me, give me the pen, Wait, and I need ten things. Pen. Oh, I give you our aphrodisiacs. Okay. I already know DJ's got his pen and paper. I'm sure. Speaking yeah. of Viagra. Hot chilies, because chilies contain a chemical called capsation. Is that why there's so many little Hispanic baby ladies running around? I gotta tell and you. stimulate your nerve endings. i got to okay, tell you wait. this. If you're going to cut chilies, you better wash your hands twice before you start playing That's with right. Stuff. Yeah, because yeah, that <laughs> shit ain't no fucking joke. Wait, did, no. you, did you masturbate with chili fingers? No, I'm going to tell you what happened. <laughs> what, what had happened was, <laughs> what um, happened was uh, <laughs> DJ makes these hot wings, and the hot wings will take the grease off your fucking driveway. And he thought he washed his hands good, and he touched me. And I came about six feet up off the bed and mm -hmm. ran straight to the shower and was trying to maneuver stuff so I could rinse it. Yeah, and the no, thing is, not is nice at all. It it, it wow. it's not an instant burn. It starts off slow, and then it gets yeah. hotter and hot, and it it yes. never stops. What's no, that it's... story about the lady who? Uh... Uh, worked at Taco Bell or Del Taco and was chopping chilies and came home to give her guy a uh, hand job. Uh oh, and burned his fucking burned cock the off. shit off of his cock because she didn't wash her hands after yeah. she was done. Wow. I had, uh, I had a mild So chilies are an moment. aphrodisiac, huh? Well, because as long as you rub them on your vagina, it increases yeah. your circulation and stimulates your nerve endings. I said Spice. that's why spicy food makes you That's horny. why there's so many little Hispanic babies Number two is town. peanuts. <laughs> peanuts? Yeah. Peanuts. Oh, yes. Yeah, so why peanuts? Say peanuts? Peanuts, peanuts contain vitamin E, which is called the sexual vitamin. All right. Well, penis always, gonna be added. <laughs> always works for me. Pen penis? penis? Penis contains vitamin semen. Number three? Right. <laughs> Number three, watermelon. 
Ooh, yeah. it's an aphrodisiac. Studies have shown that raw watermelon delivers a Viagra-like effect to the body's blood vessels. <gasps> Oh. Is that why? Is that why the butter's always eating the watermelon? Is that what's going on with that? <laughs> well, and it's Audrey yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Andre's shaking his head. Yep, yeah. yep. That <laughs> shit works. Number four, <laughs> avocados, Ooh. because just like vitamin E, which helps your body create uh, vitamin E, helps your body create hormones like t- testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. Mm. Ginger, oh yeah, increases your circulation. Goji berries. There's a goji juice they're selling on, yes. the, on TV now. It is a, a good anti-inflammatory. It is traditionally used to boost sexual desire and stamina in China. And you know those old Chinese people. I don't people, believe no goji I'm They telling live forever, you. and they are banging well into their wrinkles. Yes, they are. Yeah, but I don't need no goji <laughs> Yeah, I, My goji's going Wait, what is it on the, uh, what is it, the movie Golden Child when he's like, it's yak penis, good to keep the wing up. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, vanilla. Mm, yeah, that one's a good one. Makes my nipples it hard. It stimulates your nerves. That's right. Makes your nipples <laughs> hard. Uh, number eight, pomegranates. That one also works. Which uh, contains antioxidants, which helps the blood flow. So faster penis, faster heart. So are, wait, are these more for the guys or more for the girls? So or either or. or. Either or. Because your your sexual center, your nerve endings are similar to the tip of a man's penis. Yep. So that'll all of these will work. No, I have my own penis, so it doesn't matter. You do have your own penis. Number and nine. I love it and I want to kiss it and <laughs> hug it and call it Fred. 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 <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I thought we named it something. Little <laughs> smoky. Little, little smoky. Little, <laughs> little smoky. Like a little smoky sausage. Number nine, salmon. Three. Mm. Whoa! It contains omega three fatty acids, which keeps sex hormone production at its peak. So the next time I have a date, I need to order salmon and watermelon and mm. bananas. I don't bananas. Know. Bananas. Banana. Well, not only does the shape potassium and yeah. and the eating of bananas stimulate desire, <laughs> but they contain vitamin B and potassium, a nutrient key to muscle strength. I bet you I go home today and there's a fucked up ass grocery list on the fucking refrigerator. <laughs> better yet, better yet, he's got a big bowl of watermelon waiting for your ass when you go home. It sounds to me like all you need is a fucking fruit salad. That's and right. It on. <laughs> You're listening to the Gravacious Bounty of Cynthia Vegas on that radio.com. We will be right back after these few messages. 